Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Windows 11 virtual machine on VirtualBox. Okay, so to get started, first thing we need to do is come to the Microsoft website and the Windows 11 downloads page. So you can see that link here and I'll leave that link in the description below the video. So once you're on this page here, you're going to need to download the Windows 11 ISO file. So you can see that's the option here uh, near the bottom. So I had to scroll down to get this. Um, in here then there is a drop down. So you have to select the Windows 11 multi edition ISO. And once you've that selected, then just hit the download button here and your ISO file should then start to download. Uh, the file is quite big, so it will take a bit of time. Um, so just to prepare for this video, I've already downloaded that file and I'm ready to go. So I'm just gonna minimize this. So yeah, once you have your uh, ISO file, you need to open up the VirtualBox uh, console and from within the console then, you can come to the top here and click on new. Okay, this gives us a pop-up screen here. Um, so basically it's just gonna ask us to ins input some details related to our new Windows 11 virtual machine. So first thing we need to put in here is the name. So I'm just gonna put in uh, Windows 11 2. So Windows 11-2, I already have a machine named Windows 11, so that's just why I had to put in the dash two at the end. Then it's um, looking, it's asking us then, uh, what folder do we want to store this in? So the default is um, users, your username and VirtualBox VM. So I'm just gonna leave that as is. So this is the location where your um, VirtualBox VM files will be stored. Okay, so next, option here then is to select the ISO file. So you just hit the drop down here and you can see I have the Windows 11 ISO listed here. So you might need to browse to that file um, just by clicking the other option here and then just browse to wherever that is in your, um, in, in your downloads folder on your machine or whatever location you downloaded it to. Okay, so I'm just gonna click on that here and you can see it's pre-populating some details for me here. It knows um, the ISO file is a Microsoft ISO file. And you can see down here the version, it's telling me Windows 11 64-bit. So that looks good, but I'm actually gonna change this option here. I don't want to install the home edition. You might want to do that, but I'm going to select the 64-bit Windows 11 Pro, that's the version I want. Then you can see here at the bottom, there's this uh, checkbox to skip the unattended installation. So if you check that, it means you have to go through the installation process and input uh, certain details. Um, in my case for this video, I want to use the unattended installation process. It's much quicker and there's less input for me. So. With the settings as they are, I'm just gonna click next. Okay, and then this section here then is um, asking me for details related to the unattended installation process. So first, first box here is looking for username and password. You can see here it's defaulting to this password. So it's saying username, VBox user, password, change me all lowercase. So I'm just gonna leave that as it is for now. Um, I'll, I'll change that once the machine is built and up and you should change that too at some point if you do go with the default username and password. Okay, set this section here then, the second box. It's looking for a product key. I'm not going to input that at the moment. Host name, I'm just gonna leave the default and domain name, I'm going to leave the default. Okay, then there is the option here to add the guest edition tools. Um, you can select that. I'm going to leave that for now and then do the install at the end. So I'm just going to hit next. Okay, then it's asking me for a hardware specification for this machine. Um, I'm just going to move this bar up here. I'm going to give this machine 8 gigs of 
of RAM or 8192 megabytes and then processors I'm just going to slide this up here as well up to four you can see that here um, so that's the type of spec I want for my virtual machine you might need something a bit more you might need something a bit less but that's sufficient for me okay I'm gonna leave this box ticked here and then I'm gonna hit next okay then it's looking for some virtual hard disk configuration settings here so again I'm just gonna slide this up um, I probably want around 100 gigs 99.48 so it's, it's not the slider isn't too accurate so I'm just gonna put in 100 type it in with the keyboard okay so 100 gigs is sufficient for me again you might need more or less um, there's a checkbox here to pre-allocate the full disk size uh, I'm not going to tick that um, if you did tick that it would mean that the new disk that's created would take the 100 gigs um, as before um, that 100 gigs are needed um, if you leave this unticked the machine will be alloc allocated 100 gigabytes of a disk but it won't use it unless it needs it okay so i think that's the better option to leave that unticked okay then i'm just going to hit next again and then i get a summary of all the configuration options i've just input that looks fine to me so i'm going to click finish okay then you can see over on the right we get this kind of pop up here and it's telling me the virtual machine is powering up so what it's doing here now is just creating this virtual machine shell powering that up and the windows 11 iso should be attached and it should boot into it so i've just clicked into the window the machine window and i it, you could see there was a prompt there to press any button to boot from iso so i clicked into the window and just hit enter so you'll probably need to do that to get the the virtual machine shell to boot into the ISO okay so it's booting up now um, probably take a couple of minutes but it should boot straight into the Windows 11 setup yeah as you can see it's doing that so this is what you want to see setup is starting if you don't see this you might need to reset the machine and try and get it to boot again from the ISO by clicking into the window and hitting any button on your keyboard and as I said that's what you need to do to get the the actual machine to boot up and into the ISO setup um, program which is what's running here now so now as you can see it's telling me it's installing Windows it's copying files and then there's multiple other steps here that it needs to go through so this can take quite a while so for now i'm just going to pause the recording while this runs and i'll get back on as it progresses so you can see it's actually already finished the copying windows file stage but this next stage can take quite a bit of time so i'm just going to pause for now as i said Okay, as you can see, we've made some progress here. Um, the installation has progressed and it's just after telling me that the machine now needs to reboot. So I'll just let this reboot and when it comes up, ho hopefully the installation will be ready. So I'm just gonna pause this while the machine reboots. So as you can see here, my machine has booted up and Windows 11 has started and I've logged in here so all looks good um, there is one more thing we need to do uh, before we're good to go with our new Windows 11 machine um, if you maximize the screen here you'll see all this kind of gray area around the screen um, so to get rid of that and to allow our machine to go full screen we need to basically install the drivers 
um, or the guest editions for this machine. So that's the, the VirtualBox guest editions. So to do that, if you click up here on devices and then click this option here at the bottom. So once you click that, it should start to connect another ISO to your machine. And that ISO basically includes the guest editions that we need to install. So if you open up File Explorer, um, you'll see here on the left that the guest editions have been attached. They're under my D drive, so I'm just gonna click on that. And then within here we see multiple files. So we need to run one of these. Um, so I believe it's this one here, the VBox Windows Editions. So if we double click on that. It should start the installation of the, of the drivers. So you can see it started here. So I've got this pop-up asking me, do I want to allow um, the guest editions to run? So just gonna click yes on this. I'm gonna minimize File Explorer. And you can see here then the wizard has run for the VirtualBox guest editions. So I'm just going to run through this. Um, I'm just going to select the defaults. Hit install. So you can see that install process has started. It should take a couple of minutes. So as, as you can see, I went to File Explorer um, to browse then to the, to the actual disk that was attached to the machine and run it. Um, in most cases, or in some cases, the, the guest editions will run automatically. I found that hasn't happened for me, but that is what's supposed to happen. So you can see my machine has just stopped here. Um, so I think that's that's just a slight issue with this version of the guest editions. So if that happens to you, and you can just click here, you can see it says my machine is aborted and just restart it. So I'm just going to pause the video again while that machine starts up. Okay, so as you can see, my machine is booted up again and it's now gone full screen. So the guest editions have installed and all looks good. Um, I did have to say minimize and then maximize my screen just to get it to go full screen. So you might need to do that the first time um, after your machine boots up. Also, it did take maybe two to three minutes after the machine booted up before it will actually go full screen. But if you just give it a few minutes, minimize and maximize, then you should be good, okay? So that's it for this video. If you found it useful, please leave a like. Thanks for watching.